Now before we dive in, if you find my videos useful, make sure to click that subscribe button and also make sure to click that bell icon on the side to get notified every time I upload a new video. And of course, if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, make sure to follow me on all at Saki Tech Online, also for the latest updates. All right, let's dive in. Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I am going to teach you every single tip trick and feature for the fantastic edge panels on your Samsung Galaxy S10 or the S10 Plus. So let's dive right in and discover everything. All right, so the very first thing I wanna talk about is the actual edge handle. So edge handle resides on the side over here and it allows you to pull in the edge panels. Now what you wanna do is you can do two things. Uh, you can either go to the settings directly from here, uh, which is fine, but what I want you to do is I want you guys to go to the settings from here and then go into display and then scroll down over to edge screen, tap on it, and then from here, I want you guys to go into the edge panels. And by the way, I'm gonna be talking about the edge lighting as well, but first we're gonna cover the edge panels. So let's tap on this one over here, and then tap on the three dots over here and go into the edge panel handle. So basically, this is gonna allow you to put this handle to somewhere specific that is convenient for you. So as you can see right now, I can move it up and down, so I can change the color also. I can make it orange, red, blue, yellow, whatever I want. So let's just keep it red right now, so you can see it easier. And then I can put this anywhere I want on the top or bottom. And on top of that, I can increase or decrease the size, as you can see. So I'm gonna keep the size to the maximum, just for easy visibility. And then the other thing you can do is you can uh, tap this and put it to the right if you want. So in this scenario, if I go back home, the edge handle is gonna be right here, okay? So again, you can have it either way that you want. So let's go back into the settings over here, and then you can also change the transparency to low, or you can change it to high. Uh, if you do want this to be invisible, you can do that as well. You just have to remember where the panel is. All right, so I'm gonna just keep it to the, to the lowest transparency, again, for easy visibility. And one more thing, you do have this button here that you can tap and pick any color from the actual uh, actual color wheel, all right? And you do have the option over here to tap on the phone color, which is gonna give it the exact color that your phone uses, uh, at least something close to it. So my phone is white, so it's gonna use the whitish color uh, on the edge panel as well, just so it blends overall with the phone. Anyway, let's go back to red for a minute. And then you can also have this option here enabled. This is move from any screen. So if I were home and if I had that option enabled, I can just press and hold the edge panel and move it myself anywhere that I desire. So I'm gonna keep it uh, right over here for the purpose of this video. So the edge panel handle is right here, okay? So that's number one. Now let's go back inside to the main menu over here. And again, when you go into the edge panels, as you can see, you have a bunch of panels over here. And I quickly wanna let you know that you can have up to, now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, and you can only have maximum of 10 panels on the edge panel right here. So that's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You cannot have more than 10 edge panels. Anyway, let me disable some of these guys. Let's go over here, disable, disable. Let's keep that one, calculator. Okay, so those are the ones that I want. So that's that. And of course, I'm gonna show you more of the things you can do here, but quickly I'm gonna show you one thing. Uh, with the edge panels, when you pull this inside, you can always tap this button at the bottom, which gives you quick access to all your edge panels. And again, this is a Samsung One UI, so everything is moving down uh, towards you, so they're easily accessible with one finger, okay? So that's an option you have. You can either swipe through the edge panels or just tap this button and quickly access the one that you want, such as a calculator panel. Anyway, let's go back into settings over here. And now what I wanna show you guys is, uh, this one here is called the Apps Edge, okay? So this one, if there's any panel that is customizable, at the bottom of that panel, you'll see that Edit icon. When you click the Edit icon, it's gonna allow you to uh, change, make changes to your Edge panel. So this is my panel that I see on my Edge panels, and these are the apps I can put over here. So if I'm gonna remove apps, I can just remove apps just like that. I can also remove folders if I wanted to, or add folders if I wanted to. But if I wanted to put some apps over here, I can just pick them from here. So Amazon, the camera app, uh, the clock app, the Citizens Bank application, and then let's say Dropbox. So these are the apps I want on my edge panels, and they are, again, 
like I said, fully customizable. Now, when I go back over here, and if I tap this button, and if I go to my app's edge, you'll see all those uh, options reflecting on my app's edge. Again, I can edit them by going to these settings over here, or I can click edit right at the bottom here, takes me right back into that same place, all right? So perfect customization over here. Now let's go back here, and I do wanna show you that you can also add even more panels over here. So what you want to do is tap on the three dots and tap on Galaxy Store, and that's gonna allow me to go to the Galaxy Store and install all, download and install any Edge panel that I want, and there's so many options over here, all right? So you got top paid, these are the paid options right over here. As you can see, so many of them. And then if you tap on top free, you, you get access to the free ones right here. You get the Edge board over here. Let's download that real quick. Uh, let's say, um, let's say what else? The voice recorder, download that as well, all right? So install, and once you install them, and when you go back here, let's go back to the Edge panel uh, settings, you'll see them pop up right here and you can enable them right from here. So if I enable this, this allows me to actually edit it as well so I can modify that edge board. So that's the edge board, I can click edit and I can start modifying my edge board so I can have all these apps on the board as well. Now let's click done, let me go home, let me show you what's going on. So tap this one, go to edge board and again I have a bunch of shortcuts right here. And that's the edge board. Now let's go back to the settings over here. I'm going to show you one more thing. Let's say that there's something here that you don't want anymore. All you do is you tap on this one and you click uninstall. And then you can, in fact, uninstall any board that you, you don't want. So I can uninstall the edge board just like that. And it's going to be gone. All right. And of course, another very important thing is you can change the order of all your panels based on the importance that you want to assign it. So right now we have the apps edge, then we have the weather, then we have the quick tools. What you can do is you can go to the settings, you can tap on this button here and tap on reorder. And then from here, you can reorder your panels as you desire. Once you're done, you go back home over here. Let me go back, go home, edge panel handle. And as you can see, we have the new positioning that I just created for myself. All right. Boom. Fantastic. All right, so those are the Edge panels and how to customize them and reorder them and uninstall them and, of, of course, get new handles. Now, I do want you guys to grab this one over here. Uh, the Soft Key Edge is a fantastic tool. Uh, the best thing here is we have a Soft Key function here that allows, to, allows you to lock your phone without having to press the power button, all right? So that's something you want to go to the store, to the settings, go to the store here, and just search for soft key edge, install, activate, and you're good to go. And that's the edge panels. Now let's go back and talk about the edge lighting. So edge lighting is extremely useful. Uh, anytime somebody calls you, sends you a text message, or he gets any kind of notification, you will get a gorgeous uh, lighting effect around the display. So let me show you what that effect looks like. Of course, you do want to make sure that this is enabled and you want to go here and make sure this is enabled as well, always. And then you want to go to the edge lighting style. And basically, when you get a text message, you'll get this light around the display and this notification icon as well. Again, these are customizable as well. So I can tap on effect. I have all these different effects. You got the bubble effect, as you can see. You got the multicolor effect. You get multicolor uh, edge lighting. You get the glow lighting effect, which is fantastic as well. Uh, let's just go back. You can, you, have, you can also have the glitter effect, but let's just keep this one here and you can go to the color and pick any color that you want. So you can pick any uh, yellow, blue, green, or using the color wheel, pick any color that you desire. Okay. Now you can also go over here and change the transparency of the lighting. So it can be low transparency or high transparency. You can change the size of it. It can be very thick if you want or very narrow. And also you can change the duration. Now, one thing that a lot of people haven't noticed is you have a custom color option. So if I tap on this one, I can create a custom color for a custom app. For example, for message application, I can use uh, the red color. And for WhatsApp messages, I can use green color. Okay, so you can customize colors per app if you want. Now, one more thing. Let's click down over here. Uh, you do want to go down here as well. Tap on manage notifications and make sure 
you enable all the apps that you want the edge lighting effect to apply to. So right now, uh, my phone is right here. If somebody calls me, it's not going to work because I haven't enabled it, all right? So those things, you should just uh, work with it. So if I do get notifications from Best Buy, I can enable the edge lighting to be applied to that or not. But right now, I have messages, WhatsApp. I can always go all of them at the same time or disable them, all right? Now, when we go back, we have one final thing. So that's the edge lighting interaction. You tap on this one. This allows you to control the, the pop-ups. So basically, uh, when you come here and you get a text message, I'm going to do a demonstration in a second. But when you do get a text message, you're gonna, this thing is going to pop up right here. Okay, This thing is going to pop up right here. And what you can do is you can actually play interact with this if you want. So you have three ways to interact with that. Uh, you can tap on it. It's going to expand the notification. You can swipe it down. It's going to give you a pop-up notification. And then, of course, you can swipe it away to dismiss it. And let me do a quick demo on that as well. And let me give you a quick demonstration. So I'm going to send myself a message. So let's just say hi to myself. And as you can see, you see an edge lighting and also a little pop-up. You can tap on this. It's going to expand that pop-up and go right into the app. Or what I can do is I can send myself another message. And what I can do... I can swipe down on this uh, notification and that's going to activate the pop-up window right here. And finally, if I send myself one more message, uh, when that thing pops up, I can just dismiss it by swiping it to the side. All right. All right. So that brings us to the end of the edge lighting uh, tutorial. Uh, these are all the tips, tricks and features you need to know to fully utilize your edge panels. If you do have any questions, comments or concerns, drop them down below. And of course, I will see you in the next video. All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.